first time we met, we were more like, let's see how far it goes. We weren't sure we will get to this point now. Finally, they met Nigel, they liked him, they spoke to him, and yes. It was a different state altogether and a different culture. And finally, the days come that, you know, we're going to say yes to each other forever. the same company so when I was walking on the floor I suddenly see a girl entering the floor and she happens to pass by. I joined this company when Nigel was there and I saw this guy whenever I used to pass by he used to keep staring at me and I didn't know for what reason. So I went around asking my colleagues who is this uh, girl they told me she's the HR that will handle the process that I was uh, managing. So that's when I first saw her and I was like, this is this may be the one that I want to be with. And I purposely went and I tried speaking to him and then that's when I get, I was, he looks good so I also definitely would go and speak to the guy. So then I asked him what's your name, then he's like Nigel. And then in my mind it ran, okay he's a Catholic so it's a no for me. And then he said, uh, I'm from Goa. Then again that's a no for me. And I was like, okay there's no point talking to him, I just do my work. And then suddenly one fine day, he just messages me out of the blue. He's like, hi, Rivti, let's catch up. Let's just, you know, get to know each other. And then from there till here, I really don't know what came far. And it just started really well. And it's just going on great. first week of we being together but uh, I was really skeptical about going and telling my parents because I come from a very conservative family. Uh, I told them after good two years of uh, being in a relation and the day I told them is only when I was so confident that this is the man I want to get married to because I was a person who I, I never wanted to settle down, I never wanted to get married but then being with Nigel, I was clear, I was sure that he is the one I want to settle down with. Come what may, I will do anything it takes and I did it and I got married to him. 
and Nigel was very clear that only if your family accepts me as a, as their son, that's the only day I'm going to get married to you. Otherwise, it's a no. You know, we'll call it off. Let the family say yes. Only then this will happen. And we waited. We waited for a long year for my parents to say yes. So one fine day, my father calls me and tells me, "Okay, get Nigel home. I want to talk to him. Get his family also home." And that day, I couldn't believe he actually said that. And literally, that was really the best day of my life. Till date, that is the best. She was referring to the leaf that was given to me, and she said, "Don't let this go." So I just happened to say that I will never leave. I'll never leave her. So somewhere that I, that that glow or that smile that I saw on her mom's face made me feel really proud that yes, they have accepted it and they are okay with us going forward. Making promises to each other, I don't, I don't really see that we need to do it. We we trust each other to that level that there's no need to say that no, I won't. Mess around. I won't do this. I won't do that. We are pretty. We know each other that well. So I think, yeah, starting today, it's going to be a different story for both of us. New, uh, new, fresh page. Write a whole new story again. So let's see where we go. <laughs> The best part was uh, my father kissed me today, and. Uh You know, he holding my hand and taking me, walking me down the aisle was something that every girl dreams of. I too had it, and I got it. Yeah, so she is a very emotional on the emotional side, and she had decided not to cry. She won't shed a tear during the ceremony, but somehow she couldn't control herself, and she was crying. She started crying rather. Looking at her, even I felt emotional. But I said, "No, I have to keep my calm. I have to be a little stronger. I can't cry right now." So I, I tried to control my emotions, and yeah, it was, it was nice to see that emotion flow out of her. Mugay and Asan, Nigel Agani, Revadik, all the best, Muta. I really feel uh, religion, culture, traditions matters only when uh, it really doesn't matter, you know, when the two of you respect each other, believe in each other, and give that space to each other. Then everything's fine. Everything works really well. I'm getting, I'm getting entered into a Goan family. Nigel's getting entered into a Malu family. We really don't feel like we're really happy that you know we're gonna have two different cultures and we're gonna follow two different religions. You know, we're gonna, I'm gonna follow mine. He's gonna follow your, follow his, and we're gonna teach our kids the same. We're gonna teach our kids everything that's the same, and that's something that I'm very proud of, and that you know, I'm gonna follow the same, and yeah. It's all destiny, I feel.
it's it was all written things that you really don't dream of happens and it's the best i could have ever asked for and this wedding especially i'm going to have a catholic wedding soon i had my dream wedding today and it was very unexpected that this all would come through but it's the best i could have ever got so yeah i'm glad and he's just the best i wanted um my father has always been a one look at you my whole life love you abu <laughs> all those bad times are over now fresh will start okay hmm happy will be okay oh don't you cry Girl, you.